Hello and welcome everyone to week 237 of our top 5 plays and I'm glad you could join us on the channel for another video. We have a little bit of everything featured in today's episode and then at the end we're giving away some RP so let's begin. Gurpo and his team are defending the spot tower after losing their support but then he lands his Q and decides to take it and go in. He immediately gets locked up but Oriana just showed up in time to send her ball in for the shockwave at the same time Ari gets kicked in, chaining her all with a 4 man dragon's rage which basically cleans up 3 kills right away. I said 4 man dragon's rage not 3 because Shen also got hit by Lee Sin's kick when he teleported in with his ult. When all is said and done, they clean up four kills without losing anyone but the robot, which is a huge swing this early in the game. Our next play features Metal Asylum on Yasuo with an incredible setup to turn a losing team fight. Both teams are fighting for this dragon, but the enemy team decides to engage and Gragas gets a good pick on Thresh. Shinzao goes in and dies as well, leaving them outnumbered and we're gonna pause it here to assess what's going on. Blue team are facing a 3v5 and Victor already put down his gravity field so they don't have much to work with. Luckily throughout the beginning of the fight, Yasuo had been charging up his Q and has a tornado ready to throw out. He turns and fires off his Q, landing a 5 man last breath into a Victor laser and ult to shred them all while suspended midair. Within seconds, the tables have completely turned and blue team pick up the ace plus a free dragon. I know Yasuo is everyone's favorite champion, <coughs> but this was more of a Yasuo Victor teamwork play and it's such a sick combo I had to include it. Teleporting his way into third place for this week is Kenny the Crack on TF with a clutch play that takes him cross map. We have it sped up because there's nothing mechanical to look at quite yet, but I want to take a look at the current state of this game and it's not looking good for Kenny's team. He decides to completely bail on defending his base because they're triple inhibited and instead he wants to go for the win. Destiny brings him to the inhib and then he puts down a word for his teammate to teleport to and now they're threatening to end the game. As they move in on the last tower, the enemy Shen teleports back to stall them while blue team try and finish up. Let's check in with Kenny's team who are trying to defend while outnumbered but when their nexus tower goes down, they all in. Fiora's guardian angel gets popped as TF kills the tower and starts kiting Shen and the creeps, flashing the taunt and gold carding him so they can focus on the nexus together to bring it down. Thanks to outplay happening on both sides of the the map, Red Team take the win after being triple inhibbed. Landing in its second place, we have another game-saving play, but this time from the smelly hands of the Golden God on Twitch. We're in the late game and Red Team don't have their mid inhib, so it's up to them to make a play if they want to start coming back. They do get a kill on Nunu and go one for one, but then Azir goes off and before they know it, things have boiled down to a 4v2 and the enemy team start pushing to end. With their backs against the wall, Twitch and Alistar head back to heal up as the enemy team starts shoving mid. They have late game Kog'Maw and Azir, so these towers should get melted fast, but here comes their final stand. Twitch goes in Viz and Alistar finds a Q flash on all fours. Twitch opens up with insane collateral damage to demolish them all. Not even Lulu's ultimate could save Kog'Maw as they find the opening to defend their base and then they actually win it all shortly after this fight. Let's take another look at that team fight and synergy between Alistar and Twitch to save the game and turn things around for the win. And for our number one pro play for this week, coming from a high diamond level game, we have Echo My Ego accompanied with his teammate Bard. The enemy team run in to defend their mid tower, so he throws back his W and Q, and then Bard lands a double stun, so he ults in for massive damage in the chain stun. He throws out another Time Wander, autoing Renekton, so when his Q returns, he gets more damage before kiting with the speed up. Tom eats up Renekton, but since they're splitting up, they decide to try and finish Echo, so he quickly Zanyas. The W goes off early, but Bard gets a godly ultimate at the perfect time to freeze the enemies, but not Echo, and now they can kite while throwing back CC and damage. He procs his passive for the speed up and then gets it again on the way back and now he wants to turn so he readies the zone and heads back in. The enemy team fall for the double stun which sets up Echo with the kill and Renekton as he kites and waits on his cooldowns. Tom Kent's turns on Bard and sadly he gets off Devour but Echo still gets the cleanup after some fantastic kiting with great synergy and teamwork shown. And for a bonus clip of the week, we have LAPDT on Tristana with a funny play at the Dragon Pit. She's trying to nab a quick dragon for her team, but then the enemy jungler shows up and she has smite ready for the steal. Tristana gets on a dragon, then swaps to the other, but the key thing to note here is that she uses chilling smite on Tristana. There's a ticking time bomb on Shivana, and it just so happens to kill both dragons with one explosion. That was a pretty big fail, but let's see it again because the satisfaction from watching her E get both dragons is pretty nice. Lastly, before we wrap up the video, Loot Crate gave us $50 in RP to give away to you lovely folks, so drop us a comment answering who you think will win Worlds now after seeing some of the group stage and we'll pick two winners each winning 25. Loot Crate's a pretty awesome service that ships you a crate full of random gaming and geeky gear based off a new theme they announce every month. If you order now, your first crate will be themed on time, but they also have their older crates displayed on the site. Last month's crate came with a Hearthstone pack and some other cool stuff, so I definitely say check out this part of the site if you're interested in signing up. If you want to help support our channel, then use the link in the description box and we also have a promo code POTATO1 for 10% off if you 
you decide this looks cool to you and you want to give it a shot. Thanks to everyone for tuning in and don't forget to let me know who you think will win Worlds this year because it seems like the West might have a better chance than most people would have thought.